Get the best celeb exclusives and video house tours to your inbox every evening with our daily newsletter, button text sign up, content in 18,962,934, newsletter image https, i2-prod.ok.co.uk slash incoming slash article 2249789.s slash binary slash one underscore cory dot jpg endpoint url https response dot pure three six o dot com slash interface slash list dot php profile ok magazine is pure three sixty newsletter true pure three sixty mailing list it ok online daily newsletter newsletter site name ok magazine sign up slash form and the family like most and they typically visit St. Mary Magdalene Church in Sandringham and view the monarch's Christmas Day message together, amongst other traditions. However, there's one festive tradition which the royals have had to alter significantly, as a result of having children. Get exclusive celebrity stories and fabulous photo shoots straight to your inbox with. You can sign up at the top of the page. Usually, in a nod to their German heritage. The family would open their presents together on Christmas Eve as opposed to Christmas Day. The royal website reads that they'll lay out their presents on trestle tables and will exchange their gifts at tea time. Yet since Kate Middleton and Prince William's children, Prince George, Louis and Princess Charlotte have come into the equation, it seems traditions have changed slightly. Related articles. Related articles. Now, they open just the one gift on Christmas Eve saving the rest for the big day said the children had been up very early on christmas morning to open their presents in the past kate told mary berry while on tv show a berry royal christmas williams family's tradition is to open one present on christmas eve which is really lovely and it turns out that present opening isn't the only tradition being broken this year by the family amid the coronavirus pandemic they will be enjoying a quiet christmas together at windsor instead of heading to sandringham sandringham house is in norfolk and the country country estate has been owned by the royal family since 1862, boasting 24 hectares of gardens. The royal family Normally the family are given a specific time to arrive on Christmas Eve and each group is given a different time to turn up, according to their family status. The junior members turn up first, followed by the more important members such as Prince Charles and the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge. Related articles Related articles Convention states that only married couples are allowed to attend the Royal Sandringham Christmas celebrations. Kate Middleton wasn't able to join in the festivities until she married Prince William in 2011, and the same was applied to Zara Phillips' partner Mike Tyndall. Meghan Markle was an exception to the rule, and the Duchess was invited to Sandringham for Christmas following the couple's engagement announcement.